It's like a glue covered boot, just without the stickiness. So not actual glue. I'm glad they clarified that. What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of a boot that kind of came out of nowhere and has actually surprised me with how good it is, the brand new Umbro UX Acuro 3 in bright D3 O orange, this particular release technically being limited edition, releasing on June 14th for 145 pounds, roughly 180 US dollars. With the UX Acuro 3 being the replacement for the let's say forgettable UX Acuro 2, the highlight of this brand new boot being the completely redesigned upper that utilizes D3O foam technology as a control element. And the touch that this boot has on offer really is unlike anything else currently on the market. And spoiler alert, I really feel like this is Umbro's best boot in years by a long shot and a true competitor in comparison to all of the big brands. So if you wanna learn everything there is to know about the new UX Acuro 3, including how they fit and feel on feet, please stick around and watch the entire video. And if you're interested in a pair for yourself, this initial release, like I said, is limited edition, but I'm sure there will be general release variations coming very soon. However, if you're interested in this specific orange pair, whatever is available will be linked on the review page of my website with exclusive SR4U coupon codes when possible. First link down below Below, go ahead and check it out. If you guys do end up enjoying this video and perhaps would like to see more reviews from smaller brands like Umbro, don't forget to support this one with a like. And if you're new here watching for the first time and don't want to miss out on future content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. So included with the boots and keep in mind that this is, I believe, a press kit that was sent to me by Umbro, which has no bearing on my opinion of these boots, if you were wondering. Um, if you order a pair for yourself, I am 90% sure It'll come in a regular Umbro box, but you might get this one, who knows. Either way, it's a very cool kind of bright orange box that says on the top, our game just works. It's kind of a little bit difficult to see, but it is in fact there. And then on the side, it does say in kind of a gloss pattern, uh, UX Acuro, and then it does have the Umbro X D3 O kind of collaborative effort type branding there on the side. Open up the box and on the inside, a very tight seal. You get the boots and some orange paper, so the orange theme is very consistent here. And they also include this little kind of paper thing. Blah, 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 blah. It features D3O technology in the forefoot and midfoot, which softens the impact of the ball, reduces rebound on the foot, and results in a closer first touch, giving you ultimate control and great comfort. As for the boots themselves, for those that don't know, the UX Acuro line from Umbro is their control line, which I've said this many times before, speed boots won't make you faster, power boots won't make your shot more powerful, control boots won't necessarily make your touch better, but they are designed with an emphasis on control and the way that they've made this boot different than all the other control boots that are out there is they've utilized D3O technology which you can see the branding very slightly there it's just in gloss on the medial side of the upper it's also there on the toe it is a proprietary foam material that Umbro does not own D3O is kind of their own company and this is actually a very special type of foam that's utilized in a lot of protective equipment but obviously Umbro has utilized it here in the form of a control element on a pair of football boots and keep in mind that D3O has been around for a little while now think of it kind of as pour on foam but it's being marketed as something that is even that much better very effective at absorbing energy upon really kind of harsh impacts it maintains its firmness and provides a lot of protection but you'll also notice that upon kind of more gradual impacts softer impacts if you will it's very very soft and almost has this kind of gel like quality to it and to my surprise when it comes to touch on the ball it really does feel quite good. So the boot features what they are calling a memory foam flex upper, which is basically a mesh based synthetic. Um, and the entire thing is made out of mesh with basically D3O foam in the form of this cage running through the forefoot, as well as this giant patch you have here on the medial side. And one of my major concerns with this particular foam, especially being how dense it is, is that it would take away from ball feel, but that does not seem to be the case at all. It definitely has this dampened quality to it, where the ball, I don't wanna say sticks to your foot, but there is a slight amount of cushion upon impact 
that you really don't get from anything else. It's unique to this particular boot because of that D3 foam that they've utilized but it also doesn't seem to take away from feel for the ball and that's something that I was a little bit worried about because we have seen boots that utilize memory foam and yes you get that extra cushion but the feel for the ball also gets taken away that doesn't seem to be the case here and I think that is down to the thickness of the D3 O foam utilized in some kind of protective equipment you'll find that it is a lot thicker than what they've done right here because as you can see it's very very thin and it's ridiculously soft there really is no stiffness to this upper at all and it just feels really good you can even see this large patch right here on the medial side which reminds me a lot of what adidas did on the predator lz it's got some good thickness to it and it's just extremely soft so when it comes to touch just to be brutally honest these are not going to improve your first touch on the ball if your control is bad your control will be bad in these or any other boots that you put on your feet however when it comes to feel for the ball i think that these are really unique in that the mesh base is very thin really giving this boot more of a speed boot vibe especially in regards to the barefoot sensation that something this thin would normally provide but because of the utilization of d3o foam through the forefoot as well as here through the medial side of the midfoot you do get this very slight dampened quality where it kind of takes the edge off of what would normally be a very thin upper but at the same time it doesn't lose any of the feel for the ball and i really feel like this is one of if not the best utilizations of a foam material for the sake of a dampened touch in any football boot that I've ever tried. It really does feel good and the way that they've done it is just very clean. And as Umbro did mention, the boots are not sticky to the touch. The boots have pretty much a matte finish all the way through and the amount of extra grip on the ball is minimal to say the least. Also, it does look like a lot of the mesh base is completely exposed. It is not, it is entirely covered in a TPU top layer. The only exposed mesh is what you're gonna find here at the top of the tongue, as well as this little kind of extension piece at the heel. Something else you're probably curious about is the protection aspect of this boot, given that D3O is utilized mostly as a protective type material. And I have to say that if you get stepped on, it's still going to hurt. The foam is very thin, the boots are very thin, and there's just not a lot of extra protection to be had here. Also worth noting, there is no added foam across the top of the foot. So when you strike the ball, it has a very thin kind of barefoot pingy sensation. There's a little bit of padding on the underside of the tongue but a very small amount just enough so you don't get any kind of lace bite so striking the ball feels very pingy which I actually think is a good thing speaking of the lacing system it runs directly down the middle of the boot and nice and deep as well so you're able to get a nice tight fit pretty much all the way through the foot and the lockdown because of it is also very good there's plenty of structure to this lateral side of the upper so they have a nice responsive feel you will however notice that there is a seam right here on the medial side that runs directly into the lacing system where you end up with this kind of extension wing piece right here basically at the top three lacing position so you'll notice there's a bit of a transition from dual lace hole to single lace hole and then on the lateral side it's pretty much single lace hole all the way through with this design they've basically created a burrito style tongue that wraps from the medial side and tucks into the lateral side of the upper that actually feels really really good it's all a mesh based material so it's got good flexibility to it and if i show you the pair that i have over here with the laces removed you can get a much better look at what they've done it's not attached so you can pull it completely out which i think is another good design choice i don't like when they add the little elasticated stirrup so you can't open the boot completely this makes it a lot easier to put on and a lot easier to adjust once they are on your feet and you can see like i mentioned on the underside there's a little bit of additional padding right there just for the sake of comfort but i really like this design it wraps your foot quite nicely it doesn't seem to bunch up at all and because of the way they've done this the tongue cannot slide from side to side either so once you lace the boots up everything stays in place really nicely moving to the rear you're going to find that these boots have a low cut design featuring what they call a u-fit collar i'm not exactly sure why it's u-fit but that is what they're calling it and you can see that it does have kind of something reminiscent of the s-curved heel that we've seen from adidas on the x line but it really doesn't feel like that if i'm being honest it just has this extension piece for the sake of having extension piece, this really doesn't feel like anything at all. And it actually has somewhat of a shallow cut, meaning that it doesn't come up very high at the back of the heel, at least slightly lower than the average football boot, although heel lockdown does not seem to suffer 
based on that particular design element. You do have an external heel counter here rather than an internal one, which I really like that design choice. And then internally, you're going to find that it features a nice synthetic suede liner with plenty of padding despite the boots being so thin. So again, comfort and heel lockdown is pretty good. The insole is fully removable and pretty straightforward. It features a standard mesh liner on top and it's made from a pretty decently thick layer of this white foam that has a very soft spongy sensation to it. There's even some additional thickness there under the heel. I do think it was a bit of a missed opportunity to not use some D3O foam in the insole as well. I think that would have been quite cool, but as it is, this is actually a pretty decent insole. Moving to the base of the boot, if you're familiar with the UX Acura 2 that these replace, then you'll recognize this because it is exactly the same. It is their Pro Stance sole plate with the one piece external heel counter attached. Um, and it's actually a pretty decent sole plate if I'm being honest. It's got good rigidity through the midfoot and heel, great flexibility through the forefoot, very simple design, but a very effective one, I would say. As far as the stud pattern is concerned, it's labeled on this model as an FG stud pattern, but we have seen it in the past labeled as an HG or hard ground stud pattern, which I would argue that's kind of more what this is. You will notice that the studs themselves are relatively short, especially in the forefoot, maybe not so much in the heel, but this is a stud pattern that if the ground is pretty soft, there's just not a lot of length to the studs, so traction could potentially suffer, but on most regular pitches, I don't think that this is going to be an issue at all. I don't play on the greatest pitches most of the time, and I don't really have any issues with this stud pattern. Obviously, it's a very simple layout, pretty much featuring all conical studs. It's got a support stud in the middle, and a sorry excuse for a little toe pick stud right here that I don't think will do anything at all. Again, it's more of a hard ground stud pattern than a firm ground one, but it does work given that the ground's not too soft. And then finally, when it comes to weight, something that Umbro actually does really well with their top end models, the Umbro UX Acuro 3 in a size 9.5 US, you can see weighs in at 7.1 ounces, the equivalent of 202 grams, putting it basically as one of the lighter top end models currently on the market. And considering the price point being under $200, it's actually pretty good. It's not labeled as a speed boot, but it definitely is speed boot light. So as you can see, I've swapped out the stock orange laces that look great given the fact that the boots are almost entirely orange, but there is a reflective black, dark gray Umbro logo on the lateral side. So to accent with that, I've swapped in some black reflective SR4U replacement laces. So you have the matching reflective bits plus the black just to break up the entirety of the orange upper. Plus it makes your boots that much more unique versus everyone else with the same one. So if you're looking to change up the style of your boots in a very inexpensive way, the website to head over to is www.sr4ulaces.com. If you're interested in a pair of laces for yourself, be sure to go ahead and check that out. On feet, I think the UX Acuro 3 feels really, really good. It has a tighter fit than you might expect from something that is labeled as a control boot. Very slim profile overall, but not to the point where I feel like they are squeezing your feet. However, if you did have wide feet, these might not be the best option for you. Flexibility, given the fact that this is a mesh base upper, is really, really good. They have that sock-like sensation to a certain extent, and the way that the lacing system along with the tongue, I think just works really well once you have everything tied tight. Like I mentioned, the heel is a little bit more shallow than I would like it to be, but heel lockdown doesn't seem to suffer because of that. Neither does the comfort, and there just really isn't much to break in. For the most part, I'd say these are good to go out of the box. As far as width is concerned, like I said, it is a slimmer profile, so probably not the best option if you have wide feet, but if you like that tight fit overall, I think you're really gonna enjoy the way that these fit. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US, and the fit and the length is perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I'd recommend going true to size for the best possible fit. So in conclusion, it wasn't gonna take much to top the UX Acuro 2, cause that was a very unimpressive product in almost every single way. But not only have they improved upon the UX Acuro 2, they've actually made a legitimately good pair of football boots. In my opinion, the best Umbro boot in years. They fit really well. The touch on the ball is thin with the inclusion of the D3O foam, giving it this slight dampened sensation that's very unique in comparison to any other boot currently on the market. They're lightweight, they look the part, they're responsive. The sole plate and stud pattern, mainly the stud pattern might be the downfall for a lot of people if you require something a little bit more aggressive because like I said, this is more of an HG layout than it is a true FG layout. 
But if you need a boot for harder ground and you wanna try something a little bit different, the UX Acura 3 is definitely worth your consideration. It's the first Umbro boot in a while that I can actually recommend. Anyways, guys, that's it for my review. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $180, $185 retail price right around there. It's a limited edition release, but more will be available sooner rather than later. Either way, if you guys have any questions regarding this boot, leave it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked to down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.